<sighs> right. Let's show you some stuff. What we're gonna to do today is put out some more of the onions up at the other back beds as well. But I didn't get to show you well you saw these were all falling over so what we did was put these metal bars braces in at an angle and that's stopping this from blowing over now so we'll leave that there for this season next season we'll put more braces in when we do this to hold it up in the winds because the wind has been wrecking this big time but we're getting a nice crop out of these already we, we ate some of them at the weekend and they were very nice much better than shot port ones so very much a success. I'm not going to pick any more today because these are the wives and she loves them and so do the kids. But I can see a few onions I'm going to pick. Not for myself, I'm going to drop them off at um, my sister's house and give them to her. And you know, she can, I'll see what she does with them. <laughs> but what I'm really here for today is to do the other side of the shed. Not exciting stuff. Right, let's pull up some of the onions. <sighs> nice. No sign of rot or anything. Looking good. The reason why I'm doing it now, I've come up early in the morning, is I can put them oh, out into the sun for a good few hours while I'm up here because I've got the morning free. I've been working since about four o'clock this morning, so I'm going to take some time off now. And the four o'clock in the morning thing is to be explained at a later date. Um, so I'm going to pull out some more, stack them over there, and I'll pull some out of the end beds so up there as well. So let's get that done. All right, hiccup. I forgot to bring. I thought they were here, but you know the brackets, I've got a load of them, I bought a job lot and they were really cheap. I thought I had a load of them just here, and I must have used them all up, and I haven't brought any more <laughs> with, with me. I know they're at home in my shed, but I don't think they would fit in that box, no. Oh, that's, that's annoying. Oh, I've walked all the way down here. Oh, damn it. Oh, never mind. Well, let's do some weeding instead. But well, that's annoying because I wanted to just sit here and do that and tidy this up and throw the junk away and sort that out. And then this would have been done. Oh well. Let's think of something else. Hmm. So I've pulled out only these onions. Oops. These are the sets. And these are the fresh grown. So what I mean is these are um, grown from seed. Now this one's about the same size as these. So a seed one, set one. But most of the seed ones have been this size or bigger. So it's definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, better growing from seed for me. Um, so I sowed from seed and then we kept them on the windowsill at home, as you all do, and then we planted them out. And they definitely definitely got bigger without a shadow of a doubt whether it's to do with the position on the plot I don't think so because this bed gets lots of sun and we watered it the same amount as the other beds up the top which also get the same amount of sun the only difference is this bed was used last year and we didn't add any manure extra to it so the, but I don't think it is I think it's purely to do with the sets because the majority of these ones fairly small if you see uh, so we got we got some good sized ones here but the major majority are about this size which are fairly small no. um, so I'm, I'm thinking we will do just from seed again next year and won't bother with the sets I mean, it's much cheaper to put it bluntly um, we got loads of onion seeds left from the one packet that cost us one pound and the set has cost us like two pound fifty or something so it's a fraction of the cost so we won't use the same seeds from last year because I, I you know I, I doubt 
thought they'd be viable. They should be, but it's just just buying new ones. Alright, let's do some weeding while I'm here then I guess. There's always weeding to be done. And then I'm gonna earth up over the leeks in this bed. So there's a couple of onions in this bed by mistake. I obviously mixed them up with the leeks. So I'm gonna Dutch hoe down the middle and earth up onto the leeks. Because these won't be ready for another couple of months at least. At least. But yeah, so let's do that instead. Some of you may know, my daughter always tells me off about the um, corn. Go on, going blind. Blind, blink. Um, that I haven't built a cage for it. And the reason being is I haven't got wood or anything. You've got to remember everything on this plot is salvaged and stuff. Um, we did buy the canes. The idea was to grow some, but then I looked into how long they took to grow. It was a case of... Mm. and also the way they can take over areas you plant it so we did actually buy canes um, but yeah so when I got this plot I pulled loads of stuff out of the ground and some of the stuff was these metal bars so I've got two bars of rebar there in the grass you might be able to see them or not and then I've got these two bars I've just straightened one out by wedging it between the table over there and just bending it and so I'm going to put these in and then try to think of a way of putting netting around it as in that little plot up there so let's go and set the camera up and you'll see what i mean so the idea is to build a cage around this out those bits of metal <laughs> So, I'm going to create the idea of this. Let's use bamboo. So what I'll do is I'll put 
three of them in and tie them together. We'll look at the back of so wrapping the cage area with something. If it works for this season, I'm happy. If it doesn't, I've learned a lesson. Be more prepared. 